Shalom. Shalom. Bear with us one moment while we check the feed to make sure we're good to go. Hey, Shalom once again. Shalom. Brothers of Great Most from Charlotte coming at you with another live lesson through the Holy Spirit. All right, Lord willing, it's be edifying unto the hopeful elect. Before we get started with this lesson, as always, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Most that taught us this truth and rule well. Peace, blessings, and mercy to the house of David. Have a daughter, hopefully, like to you always say shalom. All right. And as you can see from the uh, title of this lesson, uh, accept the therapy of the Lord or be deleted. All right. Because what the Lord is doing to our people is a wondrous work, man. All right. The Lord has given us the answers to everything that we've sought after as a nation of people. Right. And these answers that we're seeking after provide solutions to the problems that we face as a nation. All right. And the Lord has been very stern with his warning that he admonished to his people, which is to really repent, man. You know, the totality of everything, which is to repent and to believe the gospel. Because in doing so, that is an, that is an act of accepting the therapy. All right. That is the beginning point of where the Lord is really able to start to deal with you, man. And nurture and heal you. Okay, so we'll go into the uh, the etymon of the word uh, therapy. We'll grab that right quick. Time. This is therapy and the etymon online. It says a medical treatment of disease, curing, healing, service done to the sick, a waiting on service. It says to cure, to treat medically, to literally attend to do service to take care of. Mm -hmm. You speak on the priest. Time. So what we're doing through the spirit, all right, is bringing that healing through the uh, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Because what this uh, what these words from the Lord are, they're therapeutic to our people's spirit, man. Because in these uh, in these uh, scriptures, is what you know uh, it, it spiritually nourishes you, you know, because we know this word is like it unto you know water, bread, milk, you know wine. So it's to nourish you, it's to it's to heal you, you know. And ultimately, it's to give you hope, all right, of a better tomorrow, okay? So, as the brother was saying, man, this this is, you know, the healing process the Lord has given to us to heal us as a nation, man, all right? So, it's either you accept it or you, you know, be destroyed, man, ultimately, man. All right, yep. If I may add to you, priest, you go into that word disease, that prefix this goes into a lack of, you know, or being without. So... You're without ease, right? You're without comfort. You're without order, right? So these diseases, this disorder, this discomfort that you know we see our people, uh, you know, battling with, it all stems from the disobedience uh, that they face towards Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and refusing the healing, the refusing the help, the therapy, right? You know that Yahweh Shai is offering to us, man. All right, I got a quick one. Uh, this is the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 it says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power I will also forget thy children all right and so because of that lack of knowledge man this is why our people are destroyed and that the, the lack of knowledge goes to the lack of the understanding of the scriptures, man. Uh, the lack of knowing who you are, your power, and, and your purpose, man. All these things are essential to your spiritual well-being, and then everything else falls in the soup. But because our people reject the Bible, you know, they reject the words of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. This is why they're currently in this state that we see our people in, man. Totally destitute, you know, destroyed. And ultimately, man, this is why the majority of two-thirds, they have to die, man. Because they continually reject the Lord, so therefore He rejected them. That's right. And if I may add, this is this is why we need the kingdom to come, man. You see that? Because two thirds of our people, they're just completely destroyed, just like you know what the priest brought out, man. All right, I got a quick precept, if I may, brothers. 
This is the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 17. And it reads, for I will restore health unto thee. And who is who is this talking about? You Israelites, man. You so-called Blacks, Latinos, Native Americans. This is, this is why we need the kingdom. And I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee. You see that going to the point of the lesson. It says, uh, of thy womb, saith the Lord, because they call thee an outcast. You see that? And we were called an outcast, man. You know, this is why Esau, Edom, and also these other heathen nations, this is why they came against us, right? The way they came against us, man, because we are outcasts. But to you know, saying, uh, this is Zion, whom, whom no man seeketh after. Verse 18, thus saith the Lord, behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents and have, it, and have, and have mercy on his dwelling place. And the city shall be built upon her own heap, and the palace shall be shall remain after the manner thereof. You see that? So again, this is going into this is why we need the kingdom, man. You see that? So we can be healed, you know, come back, you know, to our power, you know, because our people, you know, uh, there's a saying that we say at the Great Millstone Charlotte camp. Have you seen niggas lately, man? You know, we need to be healed. Yeah, our people sick. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Got it, brothers. So we uh we'll actually hold that. Let's grab first um that Luke 13, and we'll start at the top. Tom. You want me to grab it? Come, Bob Kushar. Yes, sir. This is the book of Luke, chapter 13. And I'm gonna start at the top, and it reads, There there were present. At the season, some that told him of the uh, Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Yahweh Shai answering said unto them, Red Letter Yahweh Shai speaking, Suppose ye that these uh, Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, nay, but except, like, but except ye repent. Ye shall all likewise perish. Mm -hmm. Verse four, or those slack it, or or those uh, eighteen upon whom <clears throat> the tower of Solom Solomon fell, and Siloam slew, Siloam fell, slack it, and slew them. Think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? <clears throat> I tell you, nay. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Right. So Yahweh is pointing out two events where you had Israelites that perished, man. All right. But in this, in these two examples, the Lord is giving the the way out of having to experience those things that those individuals had experienced, man. Right. All right. Because ultimately, it, through accepting Yahweh Shai is the way to eternal life. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's no other way that's, that you're going to be able to get around that, man. All right? And in order to inherit that eternal life, the Lord has to do what? He has to first call you to be chosen, you know? And Lord willing, we pray that we be chosen, right? But the Lord is calling for his people to repent, you know, to be accepting of their wrongdoings and turn away from those things, all right? And lead, and lead holy lives, man, you know? That's right. Because we see the rate at which our people are going where they have no guide, they have no sense of order or uh, 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 or a, uh, a moral compass, right? They're just willy-nilly and they're, they're just meeting their demise at a faster and faster rate, man, because our people are laden in iniquity and sin, you know? That's right. You had a, uh, you had some? Uh, you want that Romans? Yeah, we get that Romans. <clears throat> it's the book of Romans chapter six and verse 21. It reads, what fruit had ye then in those things thereof? Ye are now ashamed, for the end of those things is death. Right, the end of those things is death, right? The way how our people carry on without the counsel of the Lord, they're finding themselves in situations where they're dying at a faster and faster rate, man, because they're not accepting of the Lord's counsel. They're not accepting of the, the way that the Lord is telling them to change their lives, right? So that's why our people continue to be deleted, right. you know? 
because they're not accepting of what the Lord is telling them to do so that they can be in, in a good case. Yeah. You know? Because I was going to add to you, you know, the main reason that's, that is what you just said is because the Lord is saying that you're put you're putting some other way above him, mm -hmm. you know, and that angers him. And that, you know, and that anger is, you know, uh, is shown through that judgment because our people continually reject the Lord, you know, for other gods, ultimately, man. Because when you're seeking another, you know, another uh, source to get you out of your problem, that's ultimately you putting up, putting that up over the Lord, man, you know. But the yep. Lord is having everything done to see who is going to sit back and, and, and seek him real quick. This is Hosea 5 and 15. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face in their affliction. They will seek me early. You know, and that's exactly, you know, what the Lord is, is you know, sitting back watching. Man. Who, who is going to come get this healing, man? All right, because he's here with open arms. You know, waiting for our people to come back because the scriptures literally tell you that there's healing in your house wings, you know. So you have to want it. And our majority of our people don't want it. They want they want it, you know, another type of way, man. That's it. That's right. Yeah, it's a little bit more. You read out to the rest of the chapter of God. So uh, Romans 6 and 22, but now being made free from sin and become servants to the most high. Right. We've been made free from sin and became servants to the most high. Read, can you read that that part in the uh, NLT? God. Romans 6 and 22 in the NLT. But now you are free from the power of sin and have become slaves of the Most High. Right. The the yoke, right, of Yahweh Shai, his yoke is light, man. All right. Mm -hmm. That yoke is more, is more suited for our necks than the yoke of sin. Right. Because that's, that's a bondage that our heathen enemies, they like to put on our neck and portray it as something that's beneficial, right? They try to present these things that Jake is accepting of as something that is going to allow for them to fortify uh, their lives in, you know, to relish in, right? But we've, we've been free from that. We've been free from the cares of this world, right? Which is ultimately a, a world that's engulfed in what? Darkness, man, right? And now we've been made slaves to Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh Shemel Shai. Keep reading. God. You have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting night, everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Yep. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the most high is eternal life through you. Right. So so the things that our people carry themselves in, the cost of that is death, which is what we see with our people, right? More and more. They continue to heap more sin and more sin onto one another, then that's why they're finding themselves in these conditions that they're in right. to this very day, right? And they're not accepting of the Lord's healing, like the brother priest Amawah has said, right? But those that are accepting of the Lord's healing, look what it says at the latter end. It said, the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord, right? Because Yahweh Shai was a savior for his people from their sins, man. You see, the nation of Israel, we've always had this issue that laid within our people, right? Which is ultimately sin. But the Lord is doing his uh, uh, cultivation, right? His examination to rid that disease out of our people, man, right? To want to abstain from those things, you know? Because like we say, you know, it's the, the mindset to flee from sin, that's 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 heavy. You know? This is a world that's laden in sin and iniquity. You you can go out and easily be a sinner. Right? But to seek after the ways of righteousness, there's few and far between that are doing that and calling upon Yahweh Bashim al Shah in truth and sincerity, in spirit and in truth. You know? God. I got a quick precept for you. I tell them all. This is the book of Acts, chapter three, verse 19. I'm gonna read it in the NLT and it reads. Now repent for your sins and turn to the Most High Yahweh, so that your sins may be wiped away. Mm -hmm. Yep. Turn to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai so that your sins may be wiped away. You know, repent. Okay. There's no other healing. There's no other solution that is going to be able to cause you to change for the better. You know. 
anything else outside of that it's just a mere uh, a band-aid that doesn't really solve the deep-rooted problems and diseases that impact our people you know you got to go to the source yeah how about shy that's right we could grab uh isaiah one and five and read through seven okay i grab it. it's the book of isaiah said chapter one correct correct <clears throat> it's the book of isaiah chapter one we start at the top and it reads the vision of isaiah the son of amos which he saw concerning judah and Jerusalem in the days of uts Jotham. Start start at start at five, brother. Okay. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter one, verse five. Started three, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, come. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter one, verse three. And it reads, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doeth not know, my people doeth not consider. Come. You speak on the priest. Con, let's keep going. It's also the same point. Con, verse 4, and it reads, Ah, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. Right. They are gone away back. And this is, you know, the, the answer to why, you know, the brother Tazman was saying, why our people are sick is because they don't know the most high they don't know who their master is man you know and because they continually are, are laden in iniquity all right that sickness is, is growing and growing to the point to where our people have become through you know from the head all the way down to the foot man once hey, the head is infected hey, the whole body is gone man all right from the head tribe of judah all the way down to you know uh, it's a car man all right the whole nation is, is finished man all because they don't know the lord man that's right Isaiah chapter 1, verse 5, and it reads, Why should his die be stricken anymore? Ye will revolt me, like you will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Mm -hmm. And that's why at the end of the day, the Lord, you know, put us in captivity after captivity after captivity, all right, as, as a, you know, a punishment. And our people, they they have progressively gotten worse over time. So it's to the point to where the Lord is like, look, why should I, you know, continue to do this to you? Because you're not getting the point, you know, which is why death is is needed for two thirds of our people, because they just they, they're not getting it, man. You know. That's right. Yep. Isaiah chapter one verse six, and it reads, "From the sole of the feet even to the head, there is no soundness in it, but." Stock it, but wounds and bruises and purifying sore, putrefying sores, they have not been closed, neither, uh, neither uh, bound, just like neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so mm -hmm. there, there hasn't been any healing that, that has been offered to our people, man. You know, <clears throat> again, the Lord has set this up perfectly. Like the brother priest had read in Hosea 5 and 15, the Lord has turned his face from Israel, mm -hmm. right? And what Israel is supposed to do is to repent and call upon Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right. That's 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 the that is as 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 direct as the message can be. Repent and believe the gospel. Right. You know? Because like I add to you, we've tried everything, man. Yeah. You've tried black culture. You tried assimilating into America, you know doing uh you know during the not segregation what's the opposite of segregation integration you know mm -hmm. try being one with this devil try you know chase the american dream all right we tried doing it you know the black wall street you know the black dollar thing tried to make our people come together none of this shit worked because the lord wasn't behind it man that wasn't his will his will all right is to come back unto him and through him all right our people will be gathered man but the Lord is the missing piece, man. You know, the Lord is the missing piece to our people that that is that, you know, that for lack of better words, that glue that will, you know, bind us together, man. Without that, all right, the sickness is only increasing because you're looking from a, a worldly uh, outlet when your your healing is coming from this book that you continue to despise, man. Yep. That's right. 
I got a precept, if I may. Come. Huh. This is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter seven, verse fourteen. We'll start there, and it reads: If my people, who's the Lord's people, you Israelites, man, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and that's the problem with Jake, man. Mm-hmm. Like they don't want to pray. You know, they want to, you know, watch TikTok videos and, you know, anything, anything outside of your howl by Hashem Shai. Continuing on and seek my face, scriptures say, seek the Lord continually, man, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Now my eyes shall be open and my ears attend unto prayer that is made in this place. You see, and you know, right now the Lord, He's dealing with the hopeful elect, man. You know, as you see, you know, the Lord is not dealing, you know, with these two thirds. You see that. But this is why it's important, right, for two thirds to come back to the Lord and pray while you still have time. Because, you know, that uh, that uh, that place of repentance is still open, just like the brother Atazawan keeps bringing out, man. You know, it's very important to repent in these times. You know, this is how you get healed because Yahweh Shai said what? Yahweh Shai said, I am the way, the truth and the light. You know? You got it, brother. Come on. This is um, the David Guzik biblical commentary for Isaiah 1 and 5. It reads, despite their sin, the Most High did not wish evil upon Judah. Instead, he longed for them to repent and to make it easy on themselves. The Most High had chastised Judah, and they did not respond. They will continue to be stricken as long as they rebelled. But because of their rebellion against the Most High, Judah was in a bad place. This was where their disobedience and lack of submission brought them. For all this, Judah would not repent. Their sin brought them great trouble, but they still preferred their sin with all of its trouble rather than submitting to the Lord their power. Yep. You know, so our submission, right, they're speaking on Judah in this case, but all of Israel, right, falls into the same state. You know, our submission and our our, our, our uh, lack of willingness to submit to Yahweh Bashim El Shai led us into the all the destitute situations we found ourselves in, right? right? So as brothers are going into repenting and coming back to Yahweh Bashim El Shai is the only way to receive that healing, man. Right? Belief and faith in Yahweh Bashim El Shai is that catalyst, you know, that's going to allow us to receive of all that that healing oil, man. Yep. That's right. The bar, could you uh, read down to verse seven in Isaiah one? Yes, sir. And then another brother grab Lamentations 2 and 13. And then another brother grab uh, Psalms 107. And uh, we'll start at verse um, 10. At verse 10. God. God. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse, uh, verse 7. And it reads, your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire. Your land, strangers devour it it's like a devour in your presence and it shall be desolate as overthrown by strangers right right our people our nation the homeland is ran by heathen huh mm-hmm. you know and then in two here it is within babylon the infrastructure the heathen are running around tearing around tearing up your neighborhoods man mm-hmm. you know you have no ownership you have no no equity you have no sovereignty you know, you're just completely brought down to the ground. And these heathen, they're not going to, there, there is no way that these devices of the heathen are going to give you the healing that the Lord is offering unto you, man. All right. Because like priest has said, we tried everything, right? We tried everything of this world. Nothing of this world is going to bring about solutions. We have to go to Yahweh Bashim El Shai. All right. We have to look to the heavens for healing, That's right. you know, because we received the divine ass whooping. So what does that mean? We're going to need a divine healing. You know? That's right. So we could uh, grab uh, Lamentations 2. Grab that next. 2 and 13. 2 and 13. And if you got it in the, uh, if you have it in the NLT, Bubba Kushar, could you read that? You want to start with that? Uh, Yeah, yeah. We'll start with that. All right. Lamentations 2 and 13 in the NLT. It says, what can I say about you 
who has ever seen such sorrow? Right. Who has ever seen such sorrow as the nation of Israel? Nobody on the planet Earth has seen the sorrow that our people have experienced, man. It says, O daughter of Jerusalem, to what can I compare your anguish? O daughter of Z O virgin daughter of Zion, how can I comfort you? For your wound is as deep as the sea. Who can heal you? Right. And no no physician can minister to that problem. Right? The issues that inflict that trauma, that 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 injury, that disease on our people, it's a deep wound, man. Yeah. All right. And the only the Lord is the one that has that that ointment, that treatment, that care that can actually heal that disease, man. You see? Con, because I believe it's a scripture, if I'm not mistaken, that said uh like what nation has not suffered as Zion or something like that. I don't, I don't know if everybody know what I'm talking about. But uh, um If not, it's fine. I, I can't think of how it's worded, but it's something along the lines though. Because as it just said, man, you know, uh who who can uh it says what what can I say about you who has ever seen such sorrow? You know, no nation uh has pretty much suffered like Israel has suffered, man. You know, so this is this is why the divine punishment it needs a divine healing, man. Because what the Lord did to us was all, you know. Uh, like I said, divine punishment and no, no amount of you know, earthly or carnal healing can can remedy that. That's why you could drink all the alcohol, you can, you can smoke all the weed, take as many you know pills, do whatever drug that you're trying to do to escape. You know, you can even go as far as you know escape through, you know the the means of this world, man. You know, Jake out here, you know, selling their soul to get rich, trying to run from the curses or whatnot. Nothing helps because all this was. A divine punishment from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, you know. That's right. Verse fourteen. It says, "Your prophets have said so many foolish things, false to the core. They did not save you from exile by pointing out your sins." Boom. That's it. The 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 false prophets, the false leaders of our people, have not given us the answer to really resolve these problems that's prominent in our nation. Which is mm -hmm. sin, the disobedience of the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, you know. But now the Lord has set up the true pastors according to His heart, Jeremiah three and fifteen, right? The Lord has set up the true teachers to give us the guidance, the way to walk in through the Holy Spirit, man. Huh? All right, and those prophets are ministering unto our people in these times, right? by bringing out this word this word is is healing our people right as brothers have been you know discussing over these past couple of weeks jake's response to the destruction of america they like man the hell with this goddamn place man you know because they know that this place is receiving judgment from the lord you know but jake got to see the the, the 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 vision in its entirety that the lord is coming back to deliver you you're not going to be left out here if the Lord has preserved you to be a part of that remnant. So that's what your mindset should be, is to focus on that. Well, you know? It says, instead, they paint false pictures, filling you with false hope. Right, filling you with false hope, man. And a lot of our people, they, they're still cleaving to this false hope. Right? Here it is. You got the election within, what, four weeks? Mm -hmm. And you still got our people in this spirit of, you got to get out and vote. I was I was out and about and this old ass <laughs> this old ass Jake lady, she was like, make sure you cast your vote now. And I was just like, uh, okay. <laughs> like, you still on the same bullshit as if that's changed anything. Nope. That's a false hope, man. That's right. That's uh, right. Verse 15. All who pass by jeer at you, they scoff and insult beautiful Jerusalem, saying and th is this the city called most beautiful in all the world and joy of all the earth? Right. The nations, the heathen nations, they taunt us, man. They mock us. Right. That's why they like to see these little uh, these little skirmishes with Jake just being a complete nigger, man. Mm -hmm. You know, they like to see our people in this steed of niggatry. You think that niggatry scares these heathen? No. 
They like that shit. Mm-hmm. See, what scares he then is a repentant Israelite, man. That's right. An Israelite that's serving the Lord in truth and sincerity. That's what really stirs up fear in these heathen. Because remember, in Revelation 11 and 11, right, the scriptures say that great fear fell upon them, which saw them. When that breath entered back into us, that's when the fear really hit these heathen, like, oh, shit. Hey, that's why we keep making the, uh, you know, the joke from these different movies, like, shit, blink twice, show that, you know, hey, when, when, when you begin to see, you know, what's really going on, that's what put fear in these devils, like, you know, movies like that, um, you know, they live, dark city, stuff like that, when, when the people that they had, you know, drug sleep, and they begin to really see that, you see the, the fear that comes upon, you know, the, the ones that's doing all the wickedness, man, because now they're, they're, uh, they're exposed, man. And that's what these elites are ultimately afraid of, man. They said that they're, they see that is Israelites out here that's truly repented, all right, calling on the name, all right, trying to practice the righteous, uh, rehearse the righteous acts, and they know that that's that's a problem because that they no longer have power over them, man. You know, and that's a threat to their empire. Yep. Okay. That's it on uh, Lamentations two. We uh, grab uh, Psalms one hundred seven. Yeah, I got it. Just Psalm one hundred seven and um. Uh, start at start at 10. God. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 107, verse 10. And it reads, uh, such as such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because mm-hmm. they right. were and, and we we are now residing in that place, the shadow of death, man. All right, mm-hmm. Babylon the Great America. All right. Now it's gonna give us the, 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 the reason as to how we got in this predicament. Right, being bound in affliction and iron. Psalm chapter uh, 107, verse uh, 11. Because they rebelled against the words of the Most High and, and contended uh, the counsel of the Most High. Right, this this is, this is that that's uh, soothing to our spirit, man. You know, to understand, damn, this is, this is why. This is why our people are in the condition that they're in right now. You know, the, the state of our, our, our youth, right? The state of our elderly, the state of all of our people in the tribes, right? The, 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 the situation that we've experienced ourselves in is because of our disobedience to the Lord, man. Okay? You keep reading. Psalm chapter uh, 107, verse Verse 12, therefore he he, like it. therefore he brought down their heart with labor. Mm-hmm. They fell down and there was none to help. Right. So Israel was boasting themselves within their wickedness, you know, carrying on and acting as if everything was okay. Right? And the Lord humbled their ass. The Lord will humble us, put us in captivity. And that's something that's happened over and over, you know. And this is the last captivity that the Lord has placed us in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if you read the previous chapter, uh, Psalms 106, it goes into detail of, you know, exactly what you just said. Because it was mm-hmm. a continual process that our people went through to where, you know, that we would go off, the Lord would jack us up, we'd cry out to him, and then he'd have mercy and, and you know, deliver us. And it got to a point to where the Lord got, you know, tired of doing that. So this is why he put us in the, in the worst captivity ever known to man under this damn Edomite, the so-called white man. God. That's right. Psalm chapter 107, verse, uh, verse 13. And it reads, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their of their distress. Boom. So what, what happened? Israel will repent, right? But we know that there's a remnant that's going to repent in these days. Did you grab uh, Hosea 6 and 1? So Hosea chapter 6 and verse 1. Come and let us return to the Lord, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. Boom. So the, the, the cure, the one that's going to administer the healing that our people need is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. 
He's the one that administered these curses to be laid on you. Now he's the only one that can remove it off of you. Right? Because these curses follow our people wherever they go on the earth. That's it's right. inescapable. You know? So how can you really how how is it what what do you think in your mind is actually going to solve these problems if the Lord has set it up to where wherever you go, whatever you do, as a people, you're cursed. That's why you see what happens with Diddy. You got niggas that will amount all this money and wealth and fame and status. Does the curses uh, uh, alleviate? No, that shit intensifies, man. Right. You know? So the only solution to all of these problems that our people experience is going back to Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's right. I'll get this in the NLT. Come. It says, Hosea 6 and 1. Can you read the header? It's what says, uh, call to repentance. There we go. It says, Come, let us return to the Lord. He has torn us to pieces. Now he will heal us. He has injured us. Now he will bandage our wounds. Mm -hmm. In just a short time, he will restore us so that we may live in his presence. Mm -hmm. Right? And we're watching that restoration take place, right? You know, uh, through this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, that's going to be given to all the elect, man. Right? Lord willing, we'd be a part of that number. You know, you believers out there, right? We're being restored, right? You know, we're being healed. We're having our wounds bandaged, right? But two thirds are refusing that that healing care, man. Right? They they see that the tent is set up, right? Where you can go in and receive whatever medicine you need, receive whatever uh, aid and treatment that you need. But they're continuing to walk by it, you know, limping by with all their their wounds, and you know, they're chopped up, you know, mumped up, bruised and battered, right? And they they're gonna continue on until they perish, man. Right, but the elect are going to seek that that attention, you know, so that we can be, you know, restored, that we may be, you know, uh, be able to be in the light of Yahweh by Shema Come, I got, I got a picture <clears throat> for you. Uh, this is Baruch chapter four, verse twenty-six. My delicate ones have gone rough ways, and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Be of good cheer, so like be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto Yahweh by Shema Oshai. For ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Going back to that precept the bar read earlier in Chronicles, you know, if, if our people will humble down and seek the Lord's face and, you know, if, you know, face the east and seek his face and cry out, man, the Lord is going to hear your, your prayers and deliver us, man. You know, it says, as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Because, hey, that's, that's how you, you know, continually you know get better man is continually seeking the lord man because he's he's the answer to all of our problems man so as much as we were uh, away from him all right it's our prerogative now to seek the lord more than ever man mm -hmm. it says for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation take good take a good heart O jerusalem for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee all right and that's what, you know, uh, that's what the message is, you know, pretty much throughout this lesson. It's like, look, man, all right, even though the Lord, you know, jacked us up, all right, but he's, he's bringing that healing now, man, all right, through, you know, uh, the words of the prophets, okay? So our people, it's time for you to, to hearken unto the words of the Lord and repent, man, so that your healing can begin, man. Hey, to add to you, priest, like I said, you seek him 10 times more. When you get an ailment or you start coming down with, you know, uh, some type of disease and some things of that nature as soon as you realize what you need to do to get it fixed you start going above and beyond right to in order to, to alleviate those symptoms man right Thanks. you start taking all the herbs you start making sure you drink extra water right? right if you if you pull the muscle you start stretching extra you know you got heat pads mm -hmm. and ice packs you know what i'm saying this is the same way you have to be with your how about you how shot man you know mm -hmm. put that diligence in you know to, to receive that healing that's uh, right Beautiful. I got a I got a quick precept to come back. God. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 147. I'm gonna start at the top. And it reads, Praise ye the Lord. Not praise Kamala Harris. Don't praise Donald Trump. You see that it says, Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our power. For it is pleasant, and praise is comely. The Lord doeth build up Jerusalem. He gathered together the outcasts of israel here's the point verse three and it reads he healeth the broken in heart 
and bind us up their wounds. You see that? So just, you know, putting it out there, you know, backing up the brothers, man. You know, we need Yahweh why Yahweh shy, man, because he's going to heal us. You know, but if you out there on the battlefield, like, the, you know, like the brother uh, Kwana Waff say, you know, if you out there on the battlefield and your leg then got blew the hell off somewhere, right? You know, you ain't just going to lay there. You know, you're going to scream out medic, man. You know, and, and guess who who's that medic, man? How shy. That's right. See? So this is why we need the how shy in these times. But two thirds of our people, they just, you know, land there, you know, thinking that the uh, uh, that the morphine is just going to help them. And that's going to be it until they find themselves in the spirit world, man. Mm -hmm. Got it, brothers. Uh, the bar, you could uh, finish out that Psalms 107. You could read yes. down to uh, verse thir uh, 14. Yes, sir. Uh, this is the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 107, verse, uh, verse 14. And it reads, he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and, and break their bands and sunder. Right. So the victory of the remnant has already been written, man. All right. The, the 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 healing of the elect has already been set in stone right right those therapy sessions have already been set you go into the uh to pt the physical therapy they they stretching you out all right, all right you got this ailment right here now you need to fix that right so the lord has already set these things up right now read that latter part once more the bar uh book of psalms chapter 107 and the latter he break their bands in sunder Right now, when you look at that word bands in the uh, Strong's Concordance, let me pull this very right quick. It is Strong's H 4147. It says band or bond. Now, when you go to the root word is Strong's H 631. It says Asar. It says to tie, bind, imprisonment. Hmm. Okay. So with us being in prison right the lord is setting us free through ultimately first receiving this word of truth man mm -hmm. all right and then ultimately yahweh yahweh bashimel shai yahweh shai is going to be sent to deliver us physically lord willing we be a part of the elect you see that's right so could you uh right fast grab john 8 and 32. can i slack you go ahead brother I was going to say, can I read uh, or jump down here to verse 19 and 20? Come on. Come on. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 107, verse 19. It reads, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distress. He's like he sent this word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. You know, so again, you know, this is why we need Yahweh Shai, man. You know, we can't, you know, stress it out enough, right? You know, two-thirds of our people, man, you know, now we know scriptures say two-thirds are not going to repent, you know, but for you, you know, a few sincere brothers and you few sincere sisters out there, man, how shy is that healer? There's no other way around. You, you know, trying to, you know, watch pop the balloon and all of that. No, man, right? Watch TikTok. None of these things are going to heal you. You know, and just like the brother Atasuan, you know, mentioned earlier, man, you know, you, you think you're going to vote and all of that. It's not going to heal you either. Nothing is going to heal this place. Scriptures say, uh, 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 how does the scripture go? Um, she may be healed, but she's not going to be healed, man. You right. see, Maybe how is Shah is going to do the healing? Yep. Yeah, brother. God, you got that right fast. Uh, the book of John chapter 8, verse 32. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Right. Mm -hmm. So this 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 word being brought to our attention, this truth was the starting point of us being able to be healed. Right. To ultimately, Lord, will really receive a salvation. Right. To ultimately be free from this final captivity in Babylon, the great America. Mm -hmm. Right. So now with us receiving this word, what do we do with it? Right. We're supposed to cultivate the, the gift of faith. Right. And we're supposed to grow in this and continue to repent and to perform our ways because with the Lord, with him healing us, once we begin this process of healing, it's a continual process that we go through, you know, it's right. something that the Lord is going to continue to put us in that fire, that the, the, the fiery trials, right? The furnace of adversity to purge all of these iniquities 
and purge all of this, these impurities and diseases that's in our bodies, man. You know, within our spirit, excuse me. Mm -hmm. You know? So we could grab next, um, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 22. Okay, I, get this. I got it. But, Come. but I just wanted to read up in that John 8 and read verse 31. It says, Then Yahweh shy to those Jews which believed on him. If ye continue in my word, then ye are my disciples indeed. Right then it goes on to say, if you know, if you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. But like the brother said, it's a continuing in the words, man. Right? Continuing in the faith, continuing in the belief, right? Continue to seek that healing, right, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right. And then you you will receive, you know, as the Lord uh, see the thieves fit, man. You know? Mm -hmm. This is a wisdom of Solomon chapter seven, verse twenty-two. For wisdom worketh suck it, for wisdom which is the worker of all things taught me for in her is an understanding spirit holy one only manifold subtle lively clear undefiled so i can read that over uh, wisdom of Solomon 7 22 for wisdom which is the worker of all things taught me for in her is an understanding spirit holy one uh, one only manifold subtle lively clear undefiled plain not subject to hurt loving the thing that is good quick which cannot be let it ready to do good right so this is the the fruit of the the, the wisdom excuse me of the how about shimel shot right the, the the benefit of serving the lord right here it is solomon the greatest king that ever existed the wisest king that ever existed is declaring his love for the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. All right. Now the scriptures speak about in Sirach how wisdom walketh with you with in crooked ways, roughly paraphrasing. So the wisdom of the Lord is going to cause you to have to start to cut out the bullshit that you were accustomed to in this world. Right? So the Lord is gonna through this receptive this uh reception of wisdom, he's going to walk with you and deal with you in a way to where he's going to purify you through the word you see that's right mm -hmm. so we could uh jump to wisdom of solomon one and four and read through five and then grab proverbs 16 and 24 and that'll be it okay i'm right here okay this God. is wisdom of solomon one and four for into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin right Hey, and that's why we have to continually reform and repent, huh? All right? We have to pray that Yahweh Bashim El Shai take not the Holy Spirit from us. All right? Because with us receiving the Holy Spirit, that's why we're able to do the things that we do. To walk as upright citizens of Yashar Allah. Right? To be ambassadors of Yahweh Shai. To do these great works of Yahweh Bashim El Shai as vessels of theirs. You know? But if, if you have a malicious soul, Right, that wisdom is going to be able to enter in, you know, and our people are malicious as all hell, you know, they're not willing to amend their ways so that wisdom could come in, right? Ultimately, what it is, it goes back to the fact that the Lord didn't want them to be reformed, you know, so the fact that we are able to possess this wisdom in these days and to go through the, the, the healing. The therapy that the Lord has to offer unto us is a blessing. You know? God. It says, For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and there have been examples, you know, that we've seen with men that have dis that have been disenchanted. You know? Where the wisdom just fled, you know, and that's a scary that's a scary space to be in, you know. This is why brothers got to make sure that they're praying, man, you know, giving their giving their all to make their calling of election short, you know, because this therapy, this <laughs> look, as it's titled, accept the therapy of the Lord to be deleted. There's no other way that you finna get around. All of this stuff that's about to hit the, the that's about to hit the road, man. All of this shit that's about to hit the fan. The only way that you can be prepared is through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Lord is going to provide. 
right? That's why it says in Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, right? And as it goes on to say in the latter, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, right? Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and is the beginning of knowledge, you know? It puts your mind on point to maneuver in a certain way, yeah. you see? So what's going through this process of healing, we're going to be able to maneuver around niggas that zombies, just walking dead, you know, casualties of war. That's just going to be getting hit with whatever the Lord has set for their judgment, you know, but Lord willing, Yahweh Bashim al have favor upon us so that we're able to continue to go through the healing all the way to the very end and be saved, man. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, I was just going to make mention, just laying back off that point, you know, that healing started with, you know, Ezekiel 37 chapter, right, where, you know, Jake, you know, got the skin, they got the the, uh, the sinews, right, and then eventually the, the, the believers got the breath, right, but like the brother said, you know, those who have the breath are going to be maneuvering accordingly, you know, the rest, you might know you're an Israelite, but you don't have the breath, or you might not even know you're an Israelite, and that you're still, you know, accounted among the rest of the zombies out there, man, right? Who are moving without the spirit of y'all about Chanel Shot. That's it. Uh, you know that Proverbs. God, we got that Proverbs, is it? It's uh, Proverbs 16 and 24. It reads, Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. Mm -hmm. Right. So this this word is akin to honey. Yeah. Now, when you look up the, the properties within honey honey is a very uh a nutrient uh part of uh of nature that we consume you know so the pleasant words the words of yahweh bashim al shai is a health benefit man right it's it's a part that our people have been longing for you know healing and nutrients for their spirit you know because our people have been walking what's the scripture say about in uh wisdom of solomon in the fifth chapter how we've walked in deserts, right? Mm -hmm. They're laid no way. Jake feeding out here, they like, damn, I'm trying to get some, I'm trying to get some nutrients. I'm I'm trying to, I'm trying to live, I'm trying to breathe. Mm -hmm. You know? But the words of Yahweh Shimel Shai is likened unto a honeycomb, man. It's just this nutrient. You know, it's, it's for your health, it's for your benefit. That's right. Proverbs 16 and 25. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Right. So there's a way that seems right unto two thirds of our people, right? For them to put off from day to day, for them to keep going and, you know, turning the shoulder at the healing that the Lord has to offer, right? But at the end of the day, if you choose to continue on that road, the end of it is destruction. God. You may think that it's okay to push off the Lord when it's not. You may think that it's okay to, you know, dismiss the words of the prophets that are speaking through the Holy Spirit, but it's not. Okay? Yeah. I, want, I wanted to get this in the uh, GNT for you for that Wisdom of Solomon 1, because I thought that was heavy, because going on what you just God. said. Uh, wisdom of Solomon 1 and 4 in the GNT, it says, Wisdom will never be at home with anyone who is deceitful or a slave to sin, or a slave mm. of sin. Everyone who is holy has learned to stay away from deceitful people. He will not stay around when foolish thoughts are being expressed. He will not feel comfortable when injustice or injustice is done. Wisdom is a spirit that is friendly to people, but she will not forgive anyone who speaks against the Most High. For Yahweh Shem Shah knows our feelings and thoughts and hears every word. Since the Lord's spirit fills the entire world and holds everything in it together, she knows every word that people say. No one who speaks wickedly will escape notice. Sooner or later, he will receive just punishment. Yep. You know? You speak on it. Go ahead. God. Yeah, no, the, the wisdom, the wisdom is 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 taking account for all of the things that's being done in the midst, right? Because people are standing against wisdom. Right? People are standing, people are making their stance against Yahweh Bashanel Shah in these last days, man. Right. Yeah. Hey, if I could add, because this this is the spirit, it's funny. I'm at work today, and you know, uh, I perceived the guy was a Jake. He's from Africa, 
but I don't know mm-hmm. what company, but I perceive he was a Jake. But he comes up and he was like, he asked me this question. He was like, do you think that there can be peace without war? And I was like, nah, war is, is essential. You can't have one without the other. And he was like, that's a part of human nature or whatever. And then, you know, he starts going to his little philosophical thing, thinking of how he, you know, agrees with that or whatnot. But then this other uh, Jake from Ghana comes up and they, he, he starts talking about that. And the other Jake was like, nah, I don't believe war is the answer because people are always fighting. There's, there's no uh, there's no end to it. You know, so I'm just listening to them talk and eventually got to the point to where the one Jake that asked me the initial question will ask them, well, if that's the case, then what's what about them, uh, you know, what's going on over there in, in the Israel, uh, dealing with Israel? And he was like, uh, you telling me God, you know, is okay with that? And it was like, well, you know, that's the, the God's people. You know, those are the Israelites. You know, the God, you know, he's doing that for Israel, you know, the Israelites and whatnot. You know, we knowing that that's not the people. Yeah. But Jake was sitting there saying all that, and eventually he let it be known that he doesn't believe in the Lord. And so what, the, what you know, other Jake cut him with, which I thought was funny, he was like, the reason why you can't understand it is because you don't believe in God. You know, it's just a storybook to you. And so... You know, the, the wisdom of that Jake, he was so perplexed because he was like, man, there can't be, you know, he was sitting there dealing with the whole war thing, but he couldn't get simple logic is because he rejected the Lord, man. So the Lord rejected him for wisdom, man, you know? But I thought that was interesting. Just like that uh, that precept, you know, that you read, you know, wisdom cannot enter, you know, into a malicious soul, you know? And, you know, so a lot of our people out there, you know, they're totally against the Lord. You know, our, our people, you know, they, they just can't obtain this truth because Yahweh Shah said that he knew those from the beginning that, right. that pretty much wouldn't believe. Yeah. You know, Jake, Jake is looking for peace. Yeah. But until you can really understand that only peace that can be a, a provided is from Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah, then you're not going to get it. And I just thought that was the spirit, you know, just hit me. That was the answer that, that Jake couldn't receive, man, because yeah. he rejected the Lord. So he, he has no true uh, true answer to, to what's going to bring peace to the earth, man. Because they were sitting there going back and forth about that, you know, what is what is the answer to peace? And, you know, I'm just listening. I'm not going to tell them, but I was like, you know, the Lord, he's the answer, you know? So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Hey, the, 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 the God of the Hebrews is a solution-based power, man. Exactly. All right? How about Shemel Shai? Again, he's the one that created wisdom. All right, exactly. so his ways are supreme. His ways is what it was what governs the earth to be established in its proper ways, man. Mm-hmm. You know, so like right. you guys said, priest. You know these these people that come up with their own perceptions of how matters should be handled, they can't ultimately see or receive that blessing of the wisdom of the Lord. Mm-hmm. You know, because they they have that malicious soul that that wisdom they can't enter. Mm-hmm. You know. So, hey, man, we count ourselves blessed to be able to go through this process of healing that the Lord has afforded us unto do. That's right. That's right. Anybody brothers have anything else? Nah. nah. Uh, hey, but Lord willing, you brothers, and you few sisters, we're edified through the Holy Spirit. We're going to close giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Noble honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth and rule well. Peace, blessings, and mercy to the house of David. I'll be off that without a whole for the leg to always say shalom. Shalom. Shalom.